If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you guys are on my other Disney Genie YouTube channel, and if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I love to travel. I love to travel. It is all I think about some days and I wrap myself up and all the things that I could be doing and having fun and getting ready to plan my next trips. I just love all the things. And with all of that, it comes with a little bit of luxury that I love to bring with. And today I'm gonna to show you guys five of my all time favorite pieces that I love to bring for travel. Really four I love, four I would highly recommend. The other one I'm gonna leave completely up to you and you guys tell me if you guys think it is actually worth it. We're gonna keep that one until the end because I know it is going to be quite the controversy. I do think for a lot of people and I thought it for myself as well that it was going to be a big staple in my collection that I really felt the need to fill and to have. And once I got it and once I used it a couple times, I just don't think it's for me. I'm actually considering selling it. I don't know. We'll get to that at the very end of the video. So make sure you watch this video all the way through. But let's get started with my number one favorite thing that I think everybody needs in their travel luxury collection. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start with these two. One of these will be a freebie. You're going to get a little two for one here. But I want to start off with the toiletry items. I do have the 26 and the 15. I probably use the 15 the most. I even have the majority of my stuff in here, but it is going to have my mom band-aids, my lipsticks, my little pills for all my headaches, anything I might need, business cards, all of the handbag essentials are going to fit inside of here perfectly, but this is just me. I only have one or two things in here that are gonna be for the kids. Majority of the time it's gonna be for me. I will say though that my kids have gotten to be a little bit older, so we're out of the whole diaper bag phase. We're out of kind of needy things. If they need things, they'll just kind of bring it on their own. But if you are still in that small littles phase and you need the extra space, I would definitely look into getting the Toiletry 26. You can definitely find these on the pre-love market and then of course Louis Vuitton has come out with a whole new design of this and I will say it is good it is definitely definitely good if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll go ahead and link that one down below as well but I will also link the video of how I showed you guys of how to make this into a like actual handbag I'm actually kind of considering making a whole video for you guys on just comparing the two uh, based on what I have and I have seen the new one in person it is it is good like it is definitely good but if you guys want that video if you guys mean to show you how to turn this toiletry 26 into a its own bag and do a comparison of the two let me know in those comments down below and I'd be happy to make it for you but I really like both of these the biggest thing that is that is so important with these is that they are wipeable they are completely wipeable inside they have very little vaquetta it's really just going to be here on the tag and that is it there's no extra piping or anything inside and there is quite a big size difference i would say with the two of these i will say though i am wanting the trifecta i am on the hunt for the 19 um, and i am really really hoping that i will be adding it to my whole collection because i just would love the whole trifecta i think the 19 would be a perfect addition um, and I still think I would probably use that one more than the 26 but don't get me wrong that 26 is a necessity I love it so much and end the days so where we are traveling and I do need to have a little bit more even just like a thing of baby wipes or we're going to the park and we're adding airport like all like extra little disinfectant wipes this is perfect because it just holds so much I just love it. It's like I said, completely wipeable. This one is definitely smaller, but it holds quite a bit. I have a lot in here, um, but honestly, I could be fitting so much more. So you guys already know how much I love this piece because I talk about it all of the time. I have made several videos about this piece because it's just so good and you probably already know what it is. It's the Atui. I love this bag. I also normally have this little guy on here. I just picked this up on Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link this down below, but it just makes it hands free. I don't typically need that for when I travel, but it is nice to have like my wallet, um, my phone, everything. I could just run into Starbucks or wherever and grab what I need and not have to bring the whole big bag with me. I can just grab this and go. But for the majority of the time when I am traveling, I go ahead and put my uh, iPad mini in here. 
I bought this several years ago um, in Aruba when it first came out and was considered the MM size. Now they have added on more sizes to this and it does go into the PM, which is now considered this size, the MM, which is supposed to fit a 13 inch MacBook. And the next time my essay actually gets one in, she's gonna be calling me and we are going to be looking at it because I'm going to be bringing in my MacBook and I want to make sure it fits. Um, but also they have the GM. So I'm gonna go ahead and link all those down below for you as well but this is the perfect size if you are pouch at people we'll go ahead and link that video down below because I did a whole video for you guys of just comparing the Atui now PM to the pouchette that you get with a Neverfull it's controversial but I'm just gonna say this is this is definitely by far the winner at least in my book I know that's you know, going to ruffle some feathers, but I honestly think this is the best. You guys know I talk about this on Instagram all the time. I'm very vocal about this. This is worth the money. The pouchette, don't buy the Neverfold just for the pouchette. You can buy it on the pre-lift market, but this is, this is gonna be way better. And then this little hook is like, or this little, it's like a bag chain. It actually comes undone. And it will, like, you can have it, like, for a top handle of your purse. You can clip it on. I just go ahead and add it to the little hook here and then add it to the zipper. It just works perfect, um, but I love this. I actually have my iPad mini in here and that's what I usually store when I'm traveling at. It's what I mainly use this for, um, but I love it. It's good as like a little packing cube piece. It is so beautiful. This is not a wipeable interior though. It is going to be a fabric inside, but it opens up and holds so, so much. This is another one that I feel so strongly about that I just think it's worth it than some of the other pieces. That is going to be the Graceful MM. I love this bag and you guys know how much I love this bag because of the fact that it is one strap. Like it just makes travel especially so easy in the sense that it's not going to be so overfilled that one strap constantly falls down and then things overflow. Both the Neverfull and the Graceful don't have zippers inside. They just have magnets and I believe the Graceful has a little clip. But I like that this is just one strap. It's super, super easy. It's gonna stay on my shoulder. It has a nice wide single strap. This was actually my very first luxury, like higher end luxury Louis Vuitton bag. Um, and it has held up beautifully. I do think the Abine is definitely going to help with that. We don't have to worry about any untreated leathers or anything. Everything's treated. Everything is wipeable. It's been put to the test on numerous occasions. If you do ever need to wipe these off, I always recommend water wipes. I'll go ahead and link some down below. But yeah, this bag is fantastic. It is really great for travel. It holds so, so much. And in my opinion, the MM size is just perfect because it kind of lets me fill it up as much as I need to, carries all of the things, but not to the point to where I look like that is my full size like carry on bag. It's still gonna work as a purse. It can still definitely work as a diaper bag. It's gonna hold all of the things, a work bag, all of that. I will go ahead and link that video down below of my what fits inside my Graceful MM because it is such a great bag. You guys know I love this and use this more than I do my Neverfulls. And I also have my Neverfull in the Ebene, also in the MM, and I pick this every time. I feel like everybody that has a travel collection who is also building their luxury handbag collection has to have a backpack and you guys this one is amazing a lot of you guys have reached out we've had many conversations about this bag it is definitely a hot commodity i will definitely say it has been very controversial a lot of people love it hate it the things that they hate though about this bag 90 percent of the time i feel are the liner because inside of this bag she is dark she is black she is a black hole a lot of people have went ahead and also bought the inserts for it it is really great to have because of the fact that even if you do spill you anything leaks or anything it's black it's not gonna stain it's wipeable so I have a lot of bags that have lighter interiors Gucci even has like a linen interior a really light linen interior that is never compatible 
And so this having a black suede, it cleans easy, it is wonderful. Having a backpack and a travel collection is just perfect because it, it's hands-free, you can throw it on your back, the kids stuff can go in there, your stuff can go in there. I did also a whole what's in my backpack video for you guys and you got to see for travel what all fits, what all doesn't. Is it great for a mommy bag? Is it great for travel? Is it great for work? All of the things. I'll go ahead and link that video down below. But this is a perfect one and having a backpack in your travel collection is just a necessity. All right, I have talked about this bag one other time. <laughs> Do not come for me when it comes to how I feel about this bag. Do not come for me because I know a lot of you guys love this bag. I know this is a collector's piece that everybody has to have, wants to have of any brand. It might not be Louis Vuitton, it might be Gucci, but I would not recommend buying this bag. It is the bandolier. I did have it heat stamped to have my initials on it. I wish I never would have bought this bag. This is the 55. It carries everything as the name. Um, I think it is beautiful. I do think it is great to have. However, I do a lot of airport travel. I do a lot of that. And you guys, having this on my shoulder is very unrealistic. I don't like to have a bag that weighs this much on my shoulder. So when you're talking about uh, even a couple days or just like your swimsuit and like all your little things before you go on a cruise, you know, when before your luggage arrives to wherever you're staying, whatever it might be, this is a lot to carry around the airport. Like it is a lot. It is a lot. I took this on a cruise and I dreaded it. I didn't want to set it on the ground. I was like holding it in my lap and I was like so conscious because there's so much paqueta that's all over this bag. Do I think if I would have got it in like the Abine, it would have helped because I wouldn't have had so much untreated leather? Possibly. However, it was just uncomfortable holding it. I have like two pillows in here to like stuff it full to show you guys. That's uncomfortable. Like even I do feel, you know, a lot of people are like, don't get the 55, get the 45, get the 50, find your size that fits. I love this size. I think if we were going just like a couple hours away, I think it would be better. But I just think in this day and age, they make luggage with wheels. Why, why didn't I think of that? I mean, the price difference is very, very similar. I'll go ahead and link a couple other pieces that I would recommend that I've considered going and getting in the store because I have looked at it, I've seen it, it's just practical and they all have wheels. This is not one that I would recommend. If you are someone that has to walk for more than five minutes, you know, to carry, to get from one place to the next before you can set it down again and stay setting down, then I think you're gonna be fine. But if you wanted to just sit in your collection, fine. If you have to do any kind of airport walking, terminal walking, anything like that to where you have to carry this more than like from your, you know, your house to your car, to the car, to inside the hotel, anything more than that, I just don't think I'd recommend this. And I think that the prices have gone up on this so quickly within the last couple of years. I just don't think at this price point it's worth it anymore. Again, don't come for me. I think it's beautiful. I've actually decided to even go to one step further and sell this piece because it's in beautiful condition. I, like I said, I've used it two times. I just feel like if I'm gonna sell it, I might as well sell it now while it's looking like this. I keep it in this dust bag all the time. It's just not worth it for me. So I talked to my essay and I did have it heat stamped. I had it um, initialed and personalized for me. So I already had talked to her and I said I need to come in here and get a replacement luggage tag. No problem, I think it was like 150, 250, somewhere along that price point. Um, of getting a replacement piece, it's gonna be worth it because I'll just take this piece and then put it on something else. Um, but then I'll be able to get like a higher value because I have literally everything for this and it is in perfect condition, like perfect condition. So yeah, I would highly recommend not gonna, if all any of the, if any of those things apply to you, if you do any kind of walking, if you plan on putting even a few things in here, again, I have two standard size pillows in here. 
and it is heavy like it it definitely i know that doesn't sound like it but you have to take into consideration how much all of this leather and how much all this canvas weighs it is a very very heavy bag i will say one thing though if you guys do plan on getting this bag and you just already know but you're trying to debate on if you should get the bandolier strap or not spend the extra money and get the strap because this is not a speedy <laughs> i know essentially it is but nobody is carrying it like this like even if you've had one night's worth of clothes even if you were just staying at a girlfriend's house for the night or you're just like going to a friend's house whatever and you have like such lightness and you want that floppy look that was me no it's heavy like it is very very heavy definitely get this bandolier strap all right that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys are finding me over on the instagram side i'm working on building that up a little bit i need you guys to come and follow me over there so we can have all of the fun we hang out all the time almost every single day i do polls with you guys i show you what's in my bag all the time i show you guys my outfits i give you guys way more links and show you way more stuff in real time over on instagram than i do over here because here i'm only giving you guys one video a week so i'll go ahead and put the link down below come and find me over on instagram but i hope you guys really enjoyed this video again do not come for me because i know some of these things were very controversial but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did enjoy this video do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it it does help support and grow this channel which is what we are all working on here as a community but once again, my name is Jeannie. It is so nice to meet you. I do all things fashion, luxury, lifestyle, mom life, everything in between I do on this channel. So if you are new here, stay tuned, hit that subscribe and the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I come here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.